Okay, so this is for my Python group. You, you're going to want to start playing around with colors on your terminal screen for your when you're printing out to make things look a little bit prettier. So I'm going to take you a, a look at Colorama. This is a, a package that you can install in your Python. I'll show you how to do it on Python on, on a Mac, but this should work pretty well the same on Windows. If not, just figure it out and, hey, document it for the rest of us. So here I am. I'm on the Python Colorama page. I'm downloading it. I've already downloaded this, so let's just go to my downloads directory, I'm going to uh, unextract or pull out the Colorama with the tar command. Tar x is uh, to extract, v is verbose, f is from a file, and z is with a gzip compression. So I'll unzip that baby. And we'll change to that directory. And you'll notice you've got some setup programs here. So what I should do is run Python 3, because I want to install this in Python 3, not my regular Python 2. I'm going to run python3 setup.py. And it's going to complain. It's going to say, hey, 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 you want to actually call it and then uh, actually say install, I think, is what I have to do. And it's going to run, and it should run. So on this case, I have Python installed as a local build that I have um, permissions to install into. They're all owned by me. I use this with actually what's called Homebrew. Uh, if you're interested, I'm going to take you uh, a, a demo of that later. So it should be installed now. So I've got Colorama installed, and now I should be able to actually just run it. So I'm going to uh, just, let's go into my temp directory here. I'm going to open up an Atom editor, and I'm going to just make sure everything's cool. I'm going to print hello. I'm going to type that. I'm going to save it in my temp directory. That's a different directory. And we'll call this... Uh, color test.py. Just to make sure it runs. Python 3, color test.py, it runs. Okay. Now if we go back to the documentation here, it tells us some information on how to use this. In particular, it says let's make sure you call from Colorama import init and then call init. So let's do that. And then I'll leave the print hello. Let's just get it basically working. Okay, it didn't barf, didn't complain about the import, so good. Let's uh, find some more test code here. So it looks like I should be able to go come from Colorama and import some stuff. Cool, let's try that. Uh, I'll do that, and I'll do that. I don't tend to like to mix my imports and code, so I'm going to separate it out nicely. And then let's try and see what happens here now. Boom, bingo, bango, bongo. Yeah, we got colors and stuff. That looks kind of ugly. So let's just use... Uh, I'll get rid of all this. I just want to make uh, 4.red for hello. 4.red plus, and let's change it to hello world. Okay, and we should always call the reset functions to get the next things that are printed back, and I'll show you why in a second. So let's run that baby. I'm just going to clear this so it looks clean. Hello world, there it's in red. So see what's going to happen if I do this. I print hello world. And then I do goodbye world. Okay, I'm just going to leave that. I'll comment this out. Actually, let's put that up there, comment it out. So we're going to go hello world, 4.red, hello world, goodbye world. Notice they're both in red. So what's happening here is we're actually just sending a magic string out to the console, which changes the color to red, the foreground color. If we don't change the color back, then it stays red as long as we do. So we could just do separate calls, change the color, do a bunch of printing, change color to something else. Now we'll notice goodbye world goes back to the default. So there you go. That's pretty well the test uh, run of Colorama. And now you can have fun with colors on your Python. <laughs>